Welcome survivors to the ultimate guide for scum in 2021 day one and we're gonna start off with the character creation now guys before I show you my builds I just want to let you know I am going to be starting on my own server the server's name is survival evolved okay um, on my channels community tab and in my discord you'll see the settings for the server but the main thing is that all you know that my whole community can play with me and that we can just have a lot of fun and that i'm the admin okay to counter all troll behavior you know and make sure that we've got no one um spoiling our fun for us when it comes to the build what makes come so great is that you can do your own build okay this build for me is the ultimate single player build and when i say single player it's almost a jack of all trades okay so and it's quite fast to do so what i do with my build is i put my age on 35 just to get these age modifiers here um, i immediately put my strength down to three and then i decrease the penis size i put my constitution on 4.5 I put my dexterity all the way up to five okay and that's it that's as simple as it gets now most of you that like strength the positives about strength is that you can carry more but not a lot more okay with three strength i can carry about 44 45 kilograms with a strength of five you're going to be able to carry 15 kilograms more okay but i have got the the option to not carry so much on me constantly and you're going to need a lot of stuff to carry that such such a lot the other thing is when it comes to let's just go next year when it comes to these skills putting skills into boxing is absolutely is negative for the utility of it uh, the only two important skills here are rifles and handguns or rifles and archery okay so putting too much skills in here is negative and the other thing that's negative is that if you take five strength your calorie intake the amount of fuel that you burning every hour will be quite um, quite a bit higher than a character of three when it comes to recoil control which most people advertise strength on with minimal with average um, recoil control like i have i don't see a major difference between three you know and five strength where i do see the difference is in bows that are you know that have got a pulling weight of 60 or 100 but with a strength strength of three as soon as my bow skill is at basic i can use a 60 pound bow okay i'm not really interested in the 100 pound bows okay so if you're interested in 100 pound bows i'd say you're going to need at least a strength of four um with basic you know with, with the with a basic archery skill and you can get a basic archery skill quite quickly as i will show you in this guide so for my for my guy i go for medium rifles and medium handguns i used to go advanced rifles and just skip handguns to level it up and get more fame but when it comes to the balance between weapon and bullet durability for gun jams uh, i'm going to be using pistols a heck of a lot i'm not going to be using rifles on puppets so when i feel safe i'm going to be using pistols a lot and a gun jam can um, cause my death okay and then with rifles again if i keep my rifles clean durability high and i you know and i use high durability ammo or i craft my own ammo then it won't be such a such a big issue for me but if you want, you can take rifles to advanced and not have any handgun skill. This is my option. When it comes to constitution, I always take running to advanced and I put my endurance to medium. 
You can put your endurance to advanced because you're going to be running a lot. And with my personal experience, I am going to be overloaded. Like I'm going to be having a backpack and have stuff on my back most of the game. So I will be leveling up my endurance, okay? Naturally. Most of the time. And then running, the, you know, the less stamina I use to run and the faster I run and the longer I can run, the better for me. Okay, even if I jog, it doesn't matter. I, I will still able, be able to jog faster than someone else. And as a survivor, I don't want to be caught by anyone else, but I want to be able to catch. So I want to be able to get away from anyone that I want to get away from. And I want to be able to catch anyone that I want to catch. Okay? And this is why I've taken 5 dexterity. Because 5 dexterity... And you can level up any skill in this game, guys. Any, le any skill in this game thievery driving awareness engineering rifles running it doesn't matter you can upgrade it passively okay this is just a perfect starting build so dexterity's core skills makes you faster with running jogging reloading um ads time you know the time it takes you to to aim down your sights and just overall speed okay and speed you know split seconds makes the world of difference here so again i want to be the fastest i want to have the fastest reaction times but not only not only that i want thievery on medium i want demolition on medium and then i want stealth on medium and then i want driving to basic okay so i'm utilizing my dexterity points perfectly here the advantage that you get from medium to advanced thievery is good but it's not worth the three points which which we are going to have to spend here to get it to advanced the medium demolition is perfect to craft all the all all the explosives that you can craft in the game and again those those three you know those three points can give you one second extra to defuse bombs but once we practice enough with the bomb defusal tool and once we practice you know with the lock picking practice tool we will be able to get fast enough to counter that and the more we practice at night with the bomb defusal and with the lock picking tool we will get to advance sooner or later okay this is just a very very good basic starting point with stealth we will be able to get past megs a lot easier okay they will always see us because their cone will always be the same but the biggest difference is that we can get past them when they're not looking at us much easier okay which makes a huge difference makes our life a lot easier and then of course when we're in pr pr close proximity to another player um you know he will find it a bit more difficult to hear us than for us to hear him and then for for intelligence um, they do say that you can increase your skills faster with a high intelligence i have tested this guys from one intelligence to five intelligence it gives you about a 20 percent increase in um the points you know that you gather while you while you're practicing practicing a skill but I mean from three, which most of us want which most of us needs to have engineering of advanced, to five is about a seven, six percent difference. Which just isn't worth it. We can upgrade survival, and the reason why we don't want to put any points into survival is for fame points. When I start the game in the next in in part two, I'm going to be crafting stuff, okay, which is gonna up my survival. And every time, any, every time I craft anything, that will get my survival up. So to get survival to basic is very easy. Medium and advanced is quite quick. Awareness is natural as well. And then camouflage. Uh, it's difficult to test camouflage perfectly, but camouflage does help you to disappear for other players in certain situations when you've got certain clothing on. 
So if the camouflage is very important for you guys, I don't really like it because I feel it it's enables camping, you know, but if you guys want ca high camouflage, every time, you know, you're done playing, just crawl through the grass. Crawl through long grass, okay, on your belly, leopard crawl through long grass and you'll be upgrading your stealth and your camouflage together, okay? I don't like doing any AFK, so this is the honest player, okay? This is a guy that just wants to jump in and play and immerse himself in the experience. That's why I call this the survival build. So guys, that's basically it. I'm going to create my character now. If any of you guys have got builds that you really, really like, put it in the comments down below. I'd love you to share it with me. And yes, like I say, this series is going to be done on um, my server, Survival Evolved. If you want to see what makes the server um, special or different, just go to my Discord or my community tab on my channel. And yes, in this series, I will be showing you everything that I've learned over the last month or so, going in, in depth with most of the strategies, um, you know, to learn the game as fast as possible. And yes, while I'm doing the guide, you guys are more than welcome to um, give your own tips below and that we can just learn this game together as fast as possible you know, and get really excited for the new metabolism system in the future. So if you guys like this video, do me a favor and click the like button. If you want to see future videos, just click the sub button and the bell button for future content. And the next, in part two, I will be showing you guys the fastest way to get started as a fresh spawn. That's when you go into the game like me or after you've died, okay? the fastest way to get to your feet and get going as fast as possible. See you guys later. Have a great day. Cheers.